What does he mean, Dr. Walton? Marcus has more issues with his team. I'm sending you back to Phoenix to stabilize things. How long this time? Indefinitely. Hey, thanks for putting me up. Fuck you. So you want me to talk to Bonnie for you? What would you be talking to her about? About getting you two lovebirds back together. Fuck it. You ever think about what happens when you die? No, and I don't want to hear about it. I mean, I, I believe in reincarnation. And I'm afraid. In mean, reincarnation, you come back as something else. I'm afraid of bugs. And what if I come back as a bug? And I remember the life I had before it was a bug. You can't remember what you had for breakfast. Oh, man, I tell you, I, I don't know what to do. <sighs> you want me to talk to Ann? About what? About getting you two lovebirds back together. Hold off a bit. Pancakes. What? I just remember what I had for breakfast. Ah! Fuck. <sighs> Nick, what the fuck is going on? What am I doing here? You gonna kill me, Nick? That depends. First, we're gonna have a little talk. Talk? What the fuck am I gonna talk to you about? Where'd Vince put the old lady? Suck my dick. I'll pass. Tony, take a walk. Me and Rocco, we're gonna have a conversation. Get intimate. Tell me you call me with some good news, Walter. <sighs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? How much money does she think I make? No, that woman's lost her fucking mind. No, no, no! Where did she come up with a number like that? What does she think, I was spawned out of Donald Trump's balls? I'm living out of a garbage bag, for Christ's sakes! I am calm! Look, just do your fucking job, okay? Don't worry about my stress and my health now, remember? I don't fucking believe it. <sighs> Fucking ambulance chaser. <sighs> Go away. Housekeeping. Jesus Christ. Comprende English? Get the fuck out of here! Motherfuck every fucking fight! Why, what is all this about? Why are you asking me all these questions? Hey, relax, okay? You're very nervous. Oh, thank you. You don't have anything dangerous in your pockets, do you? No. You know what? Steve, you right? Yeah. Steve, I'm gonna trust you. If you feel more comfortable with your hands in your pocket, feel free. Okay. Yeah. Since we're gonna be pals now and I'm gonna trust you, I'm gonna need you to trust me a little too. I need you to answer a couple more questions for me, honestly. Not fair enough? I need a few things. Can you remember a few things? Carrots, lettuce, cucumbers, and garlic. Wait. You're giving me a grocery list? What does it sound like? I mean, some apples too, five, six apples. And give me the gala apples, none of them shitty fucking red ones. The gala. Know which ones I mean? Yeah, the gala. I, I know the gala. You better. Get a couple of tomatoes too. And when you're done with that, come back. I got something else for you to do. <laughs> See that building over there? Oh, the liquor store? No, the other side. The yarn barn? The other side, the dry cleaner. Fucking yarn barn. Do I look like a man currently in need of yarn? Oh, right, right, the dry cleaner. So what, does he owe us money, or? Okay, yeah, listen. I want you to go into that dry cleaner. Walk right up to the counter. 
You see this big fat greasy fuck standing behind her? You hand them this. Three shirts, one pair of pants. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This is bullshit. Gala apples, do your yard work. Now you want me to get your goddamn dry cleaning? And don't forget the jacket either. Don't you come back here minus one good shirt. You serious? Three shirts, one pair of pants. Go. What do you think? Hey, hey, listen to this story. You're gonna fucking love this. The other day, I'm on my way over to Butcher Romano's. This fucking cop, he pulls me over. He says, so what are you pulling me over for? He says, you know you were doing 95 miles an hour? I said, 95 miles an hour? That's why you pulled me over? I thought you pulled me over because you know I got a gun under the front seat. He looked at me like I'm fucking nuts. I said, all right, I got a kilo of cocaine in the glove compartment. I said, all right, Colombo, you solved the case. I got a body in the trunk. What do you want to do? Guy rips me out of the car, throws me against the car. Next thing you know, he's on the walkie-talkie. He got 15 fucking cop cars surrounding me. They go through the car, the lieutenant gets out. You know the big shot with the white shirt? Yeah. Goes in, they go under the front seat, they don't find no gun. They go in the glove compartment, they don't find no coke. They go in the trunk, there ain't no body. Lieutenant looks at me, deadpan serious. He says, what's the meaning of this? What the hell do I know? Next thing you know, he's gonna tell you I was doing 95 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs>